Hey, my man, we on Real Talk with Nick. I got the predicate, and I got my boy Kevin Williams, a.k.a. Willpower. And today, as y'all can see, man, I don't have to say nothing. Kevin Williams is on some bullshit. That's right. You can look at the image. He doesn't fit the Nick attire. We're going to get into it. We're going to have to explain why you got on a motherfucking Pacers cap. This is support OB Day. I'm supporting Obadiah Taco. This is me in protest. Are you idiots getting rid of my future? I had a future with OB. Y'all fucked it up. So I'm not going to say nothing. I got my brother here, the predicate. He is an unadulterated genius. I suggest y'all listen to him and don't focus on this beat because it means the Indiana Pacers is going up in your ass this year. That's what it's like. All right, you want some bullshit, but we're going we gonna to get into that we gonna, later on. We're going to get into that. Starting with my man right here, the predicate. I would like to know, man, with all this hype that's going on in the Olympics with R.J. Barrett, are we being bamboos, man? Is this is the real R.J. Barrett that we're going to be looking to see this upcoming series, man? This upcoming season, excuse me. Or is this just some, you know, off-season hype? that we could jump in and put in the pot when we speak of all these superstars that might come to the next. All right, well, look, let's go back to the beginning. Right? Okay. Because normally when you get drafted between one and three, you're already NBA ready. All right? RJ came in at number three, but he was not NBA ready. You understand what I'm saying? So he's still in the development stages. So what you see in Canada is the development. You understand? You see him getting better, but like I told you before, I still want to see him go right, finish with his right hand. I still want to see improvement with his pull-up jump shot. Okay. Now you're saying development, right? Right. RJ Barrett's going on his fifth year with the Knicks. My question to you, should it take five years to develop? How many years does it take to, to, to become? If you're not NBA ready, we talking about really NBA ready, like a LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony. If you're not ready like that, it's going to take you four to five years to de develop. There's things you have to improve on. He's improved every year, 16 points, 17, 18, 19. But now this is the final season for me, like I told you before, where now he's got to put everything together. Everything needs to come together. Or he's going to get moved. Now, I like how he's playing in Canada. He's being aggressive. I told you he's getting buckets. Yeah, he shot six for 12. They beat, uh... Right, they moved on. Yeah, I think they beat Spain, right? Right, they moved on. Okay. But, you know, he didn't shoot the ball, you know, that good. But they're moving on. But you see the development... It's not slow like traffic like Frank Nita Keenan, mm -hmm. but it's still slow. Do you see his defense progressing each year? Now, his defense has to get better. I didn't agree with him letting Jimmy Butler go right all the time in that series and get to his spot and shoot that pull-up jump shot in his face. I didn't agree with that. I thought the coach should have told RJ, send him left, get closer to him, jump off to the right side, make him, make him cross the ball over and go left. I expected something different from Thibodeau. Okay. Okay. Now, moving right along, man. He doesn't like my hat. Moving right along. But you know why. <laughs> that was a good assessment, and that was perfect. And this is, that's Okay, good. moving right along to my man, yes, Kevin Williams, okay, coming in here smelling like Reggie Miller and shit. <laughs> With some bullshit. No, you, know. <laughs> you are some bullshit. I want to know. I want to know. You got the nerve to come on Real Talk with Nick with a pacer cap. All right? It only looks good. It matches my uniform. Okay. But but you got to remind me. Why are you wearing it again? I'm This is Obadiah Topic Day for me. Okay. I'm celebrating Obadiah Topic. He represent for tree top. That's right. Okay, man. That's you got to keep reminding me back because I get flashbacks. Don't worry. You're going to see this pacer hat again very soon. Don't worry. I'm talking about, uh, not me. I'm talking about Obi going to have it on when he come in. Okay? I'm going to be rooting for him when he come in. 
Nickelodeon is going to dog you out. When he came in. I see a history making a bet coming about. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. You see a Bernard King deja vu situation. I see something similar coming. Okay. I mean, a lot of dumps, too. All right. Now, to piggyback on what my man just said, I'm asking you. You said you agree with his assessment on what he just said about R.J. Barrett. Right, he always been right about R.J., man. So, he got to work on his pull-up jumper, man. He, when you, let me say, say, say this. And predicate is a point guard. You know what I'm saying. If you got three or four guys setting a pick for you, I don't care. You don't even got to dribble. You just got to get there and be there to get the ball. When you watch R.J., he's getting the ball with a guy standing in front of him to set a pick to make sure he gets that shot off. Watch the, the, the offense when the guy penetrates. RJ goes to that one spot, the left-hand corner. He's standing there. He'll go to the right corner, too, and hit. But it's a set shot. In the NBA, we play man-to-man -man defense, dude. We got He's got to be able to do that off the dribble. Like I said, he don't go lateral, man. Like Predicate was showing me one day, he don't do that, man. He don't even Euro step like that. I, I alluded to that. Now, when you say Euro step, explain, elaborate for those who. A Euro step is a three step thing, but you jump it to, to get rid of the step. More, most of the time, you run and jump away from a guy trying to block you. Right. Jump it's, away it, from him. What it is is aggressive, uh, aggressive going at the basket, change but direction. You move lateral, move, yeah. Right? Aggressive change direction. Exactly. I go here, I come here. There I go, go here, I go there. Right. He don't, he even don't see do that. that. He goes straight, man. Like, yo, and, I'm and, telling and, you, man. And if don't you go, go to our with. earlier interviews that me and Kev did, where we said the NBA changed the rules to help the foreign player. Exactly. And that's one of them. And that's one of them. Yeah. You see Giannis use it a lot. I even see Westbrook. But you just I don't see, see RJ see, I see use Westbrook it using it. That effective. Okay. I now, I'm going to ask my brother here. With all the hype that's going on, let me speak of that. Mikael Bridges playing with Jalen Brunson. Do you feel he would be a better fit when you speak of Mikael Bridges in a Nick form, Nick uniform, playing alongside JB than RJ Barrett? I think he would compliment him a little better because they have history. They played together like we you know we spoke on. They played together in college. He knows him. He's playing with him again on USA. He's a better fit, and he's a better shooter. Explain, elaborate on the shooting. He steps into his shot with confidence. Like, he expects to hit every time he lets that basketball go. Can you illustrate that? That's, 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 a, dribble that's too, a difference. Man, man. He go right or can you illustrate that? Can, can, can you demonstrate when we speak of the shot selection the between Mikael Bridges and R.J. Barrett? Well, I won't even get up to show you. What I'll say is every time Kyle Corver got the ball, you expected it to go in. That's how Mikel Bridges shoots. He steps into his shots like he knows they're going in. RJ shoots it like, I hope it goes in. <laughs> That's the truth, man. Yo, I can't say that no better. Do you know what the truth is? Yes. That you shouldn't have came on Real Talk with Nick with that Pacers cat. I'm boycotting. That's the truth. Y'all trading over diet topic. This shit is going to get deep. And oh yeah, by the way, Julius Randle, I am not forgetting about your pet mug pug ass. I'm going to get you too. But today, we're on over diet topic. We'll get you later today because I'm, you know, my brother predicate here. I want you to hear some real, real scientific basketball. So, you know, don't let the hat distract you. Okay. The only in the, All right. The context here. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like the left side is the best side right. today. Right. <laughs> when I speak to the predator, <laughs> I want to know for my brother right here. Everybody's waiting to see Julius Wren have the season he's supposed to have during the postseason. We hoping that we even get that far to have a postseason. And if... We do have one. We need to see the regular season Julius Rent. Now, the last time I interviewed you, you said he needs a hypnotist. <laughs> Yo. Right? He needs a therapist. Right. He needs. He needs. He, he needs, he needs okay. can, can you let, but let But let me break it down to you. Yeah, right? Okay. Break it down, my brother. Julius Randle played with Kobe Bryant, right. a.k.a. the Lord of the Rings. And I'm pretty sure in his younger years, Kobe gave. Julius Randle, a Mamba mentality infinity stone. 
You understand? But just like some people, when you give them a jewel, what they do, Nick, they take it right to the pawn shop and see what they can get for it. Mm. He got over a hundred million for it. Mm. But if you just retain the jewel, how you can get your team worth, through the much, regular season would it be worth into now? the playoffs, <laughs> to the if Eastern Conference Championship, and maybe to a chip for the first time in 51 years. Me, because the Mamba mentality Infinity Stone is a mental stone. That's right. Mm. So you telling me if Kobe was looking down on Julius Randle right now, he'd be disappointed. Most definitely. Because he's not utilizing the mental stone properly. He's making excuses. You ain't never hear the Mamba make those. Excuses. Now, what excuses is Julius Randle making? That I said? was injured. I, I, I didn't play up to my ability. You heard what he said on Paul George on the podcast. He was he, did, he he went around it, you know, as far as I was concerned. But in reality, he knew he should not have played. And in reality, everybody should have known that dumbass coach should not have played him. If I, if it's like if I watch players play and I know they're not gonna be on this game, I gotta make adjustments, especially when I know I gotta win this game. Okay, yeah, somebody's going to be mad, but I got to get this game. I got to win this game. Thibodeau don't do that. He doesn't make those adjustments. Pat Riley made a mistake, too, not doing that. Not putting Rolando Blackman in the game and leaving John Starks out there to shoot exactly. and, and wind up losing the game. That's what I'm saying. As a coach, you got to be able to be bold enough in your coaching ability to take that guy out who's not helping you, star player or not and put somebody in that's going to help us win and make the adjustments to win. In other words, keep the ball in Jalen Brunson's hand because he was hot, man. He wasn't missing. Right. So that's all I'm saying. No, nothing different. And when people always say Julius is the main reason why we get to the playoffs every season, well, last year, you got to give about 60% of that to Jalen Brunson, the momentum killer, yeah. because he helps Coach Tibbs with game rhythm. Is it safe to say that Jalen Brunson is saving Tom Thibodeau's job as a, as a Nick coach? Yeah, he covers his flaws as a, as a coach. You don't think that, of course, yeah, he's he, doing that. Listen, when I'm talking about game rhythm, you know, he helps Coach Tibbs not have to call timeouts, not have to make certain substitutions. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Because he knows how to get a bucket, who to pass the ball to, when to take a shot, when to give the ball to Julius, when not to give the ball to Julius. See, he's, he's already on the floor doing like six, seven jobs at the same time. And he's doing that stuff injured, man. A lot of people don't even know Jalen Brunson was injured, man, playing. So all that, you injured, okay, yeah, when you young like he is, 25, you can play injured like that. But when you get 29, 30, them injuries take their toll, man. How old Julius Rand? He was about 28, 29. I mean, he had a serious injury, man. He was that injury he had. He wasn't supposed to play, man. And I felt like he should have went to the coach, like, "Yo, I can't play. I man. can't go." Put in tree top and let it go like and that. Back the movement. So, do you feel that Tom Thibodeau probably forced the issue for him to play? We don't look. I, we don't know what's happening behind closed doors. But he, he was out there. In that. He was out there. So somebody spoke to him yeah. and got him out there. Yeah. But if he was being honest with himself and did his own health assessment, he would have said, yo, I can't go. Back OB tree top. That's it, man. And the coach would have been like, yo, yo, OB, Julius can't go. We I'm counting you. on you. And, and yo, when he did that, when OB got hurt, game one, when Miami won, OB played his ass off. And they got 18 points and eight rebounds. Game two, Julius come and back. And four made threes. You don't even play this nigga. Like, yo, what right. are you doing, man? And four made threes and in Julius, a game I think where we couldn't make threes. 18. Julius played all right that game. The game, the game they won. The second game in New York. Because when they got to Miami, they got blown the fuck out that third game. They lost both of those games in Miami. Three and four. Okay, and then they came back and won game five here. Game six, when they went back down to Miami, we already know what happened. Like, right. Okay. Now, if there wasn't no dispute with Obi, asking the prayer, and Tom Dibodeau concerning game four during the series with Miami Heat. Listen, I'm not mad if for he, Obi, you know, speaking up. All right? He sat there for about three seasons and ain't say nothing. Three seasons. I know that feel. That's 365 days in a year. That's a lot of games. 
Like, let's respect the fact that he sat there for that long and didn't say he nothing. Did play it? Did he play good? Yo, he has to say something. So he had to speak up for himself here, like, yo, fam, man, you don't see me? Like, yo, man, put me in the game. This dude got one leg. He playing right, with I, one propeller. Right, I can't play when he's in foul trouble. Yeah, man. He don't I can't even play, play now, when man. he's having a bad game. I don't, and now I can't, I can't play when play he's when obviously he injured. Come on now. And then on top of that, you didn't even play Jericho Sims, man. I like Jericho Sims, But Jericho man. was hurt in that, in that series. They couldn't yeah. even use Jericho. I want to know how he get hurt. He wasn't even playing. <laughs> Think he tore his shoulder. You know, like he's so frustrated, he dunking on niggas in practice like game shit. Play the man. You know, like for real. You know, like you you don't play. You only play seven, eight guys. And then when when Emmanuel Quigley got hurt, where's Deuce? You don't train Deuce to kill. You gotta have him like yo. When I put you in the game, Deuce, I'm gonna kill. I'm talking about like you gotta train him like that. I'm gonna hold you down now, Deuce. I'm gonna let this, you know, because I'm gonna let him go. But I see quickly now. I'm letting Deuce go. But you see, IQ, he didn't do none of that. You see, IQ working out with Mahmoud Raoul. Yeah. Right. So I expect his pull up game to be dangerous. IQ. Yeah. yeah. IQ is working out with you know Chris Jackson. IQ AKA pull up Mahmoud, game is Raul. dangerous. He's, his he's working out with him this summer. Is dangerous, man. IQ pull up game is now, dangerous. Fred, I just want him pulling up with the six. I got a question for you. You brought up IQ. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I know he was a he's a shooting guard, right? Two guard, right? Right, he's a combo, combo, he's a combo guard. guard. Okay, combo he, guard, all right. He do good with the one and two. With the one guy. and two. Yeah. Don't you feel that brother should have had an opportunity, man, even before Jalen Brunson came to the Knicks? Yeah. To run the point? Yeah, I spoke about that. Did we tell him already? I spoke, about, I spoke about that. Speak about it again. Right, we about spoke about that in the earlier yeah, interview. We're we going to tell you. We, we talked about how D Rose help IQ, help groom him to be a point guard. And IQ show flashes of being a great point guard, but he need to work on what? What we said, his sight. He has to hit the cutters. He had to work on his sight. He That's missed the cutters about. all the time because he's looking to score. And he's not quick enough to do it. Like sometimes, like Predicate said, man, dribble uh, and throw it right there. He don't do that. He's looking to shoot, man. Right. Like he missed the cutters. Exactly. When you get that cutter, you got to let that ball go right there because he got to throw it a little ahead of him because he's cutting. So basically you saying that. he's a nut. No, I'm no, not. They, they turned him into a shooting guard. Right. He gets caught up between They turned him into a shooting guard. Tell it. He was getting groomed to be a point guard, yeah. but they turned him into a shooting guard. Yeah. So and that's where you see the, up. that's where you see the confusion. He gets caught up. Right. Remember I said he gets caught up in between the one and the two. He's come off say I can quickly come off the screen. He'll come off the screen. He's looking to shoot. And he forget Cam Reddish is cutting. And what he do is he'll hesitate. Instead of just throwing the pass instinctively, he'll hesitate. Then realize he fucked up and will step back and shoot that man. Right. He'll do that. I'm just telling you. That's my mind observation. But you go ahead and fill him in. Because when Predicate told me about it, I started really noticing. He said, yo, that nigga be missing the cutters all the yeah, time. Yeah, he's, he's missing cutters. Yeah, man. When he was in the point guard position. Right, when he come off that So screen. they turned him into... A number two. They turned him into a shooting guard. Yeah. And he almost got the sixth man of the year behind Malcolm Brogdon. And he should have got, got it. Now, why you think he should have got it off of the, the selected one? The impact he had on the team. I man. just think he was a, I think, I just think he, 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 he was more productive yeah, than Malcolm man. Brogdon. And he, but, and he won more games than him. He won more games. It was a lot of games, man. And I, don't never, I ain't never seen Malcolm Brogdon come off the bench get 37 or 35 or some shit like that. Not that I remember. I don't remember that. I don't remember that. I'm talking about this nigga was getting 20, 18. I'm talking about a short mental spurts, man. So nah, man, he was more important to the Knicks as far as uplifting the bench when they was fucking playing like lethargic on nights. Or he would slow it down when we need to preserve these. He was good at it, hitting threes and stuff like that. He was good at it. Okay, and he so, plays defense. Yo, man, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, why IQ would you plays bring... Defense. I'm going to say this, and you should say it. Why would you bring Dante DiVincenzo in here when you got him? Why would you do that? Because you want to build around Jalen Brunson. And building around Jalen Brunson might mean we got to get rid of IQ quick. Right, right. which means IQ might be gone. Exactly. Because if you don't want to give him the bag now, you that means you're not going to give it to him you later. You ain't giving him the bag later. because If he got the six-man award, do you think he they would have gave it to him? Do you think that would have made I a difference? I don't think they would have gave it to him. If he would have took that money Dante DiVincenzo took, that 14 to 4, it's about 70, 
he would took that, they would have kept him. They got Dante because they know IQ is leaking. They're not IQ, going to give him 100 million. Them so if the writing is in the wall. You're saying IQ's out of here. Man, I think he's out of here. You give him 100 million, he's going to be talking about start. Right, because you can't have four hundred million dollar yeah, players man. on the same team and one's on the bench. And one on the bench. It don't make no sense. Everybody that they make a hundred million is supposed to be in the starting lineup. And I'm telling Am you, right? Josh Hart gonna be starting. Man. <sighs> Josh Hart starting at the two. I just saw that. Now, you, so I didn't mean to upset you because it seemed like Josh Hart upset him with his hat. Well, we <laughs> well, we gonna go on Josh Hart right now. Yeah. I see Grimes is working out with Penny Hardaway. That's right. All right. So I expect the water guard to be better off the dribble yeah. next season. You know, because we already know he can make the three. Yeah. He shoots decent from the free throw line. He can like dribble, quick, drive, man. and pass and score. And but he, he just missing deep, that. He's missing that in between pull up game. He got to get in sync with Jalen Brunson, man. It's hard because that mother was shoot. Jalen Brunson is a better version of John Bagley. Right. You know, in other right. words, you would have man, to go back to the Cleveland Cavaliers yeah, to understand. He's got to really about. understand how to catch the ball because he'll over penetrate sometimes. Look at his boy's shot. Grimes reminds me of Mitch Richmond. Yeah. Why you say that? He can play defense. Because he can guard you, man. He can, def he can defend. You know, he defends his position top he notch. He can shoot, man. And Mitch he can Richmond shoot. Mitch Richmond can shoot. But man. one thing he's lacking from the Mitch Richmond bag is the pull-up jump shot. He needs the pull-up jump shot. I'm going to be effective yeah, yeah. in the offense that we have, that we're running, where he's probably going to be maybe like the fourth option. Yeah. That's that's probably, at times he's probably gonna be like the fourth option but behind RJ. Yeah, sometimes man, he, he does better, you know, as far as scoring. He scores his first. He could take over a game. Man. Okay. You know, like 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 Quentin Grimes, I've seen him get 20, 30, and hit five or six jumpers in a row when he's in rhythm. Right. You know, it's hard, man. When you go you go with a player like him till he misses it, he'll go six in a row. Okay, give him a seven when he misses, okay, then go to Julius or one of them other niggas. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Predator, when the Indiana Pacers play the New York Knicks, is it possible that you will see a matchup between Julius Randle and Obi? Is it possible? Well, first I want to say I want the Knicks to win that game. But I want Obi to showcase something he didn't get an opportunity to showcase in New York. Which is that pump fake, put the ball on the floor, take the pull up, dribble drive. Because I think that would have really got him, kept him on the floor in New York. Remember I told you about his development? Now right. That he, the Knicks, now, he, they, now he makes the three, you're going to have to put the ball on the floor. The Knicks out of this right. Because they got Halliburton. And I've seen how he can run right past. Well, they already saying Halliburton is better than Brunson, and I don't think so. Halliburton is better than Brunson. Ooh. I, I don't think so. The I don't one agree. that's playing on his, on his team right now. I don't agree. So, I think, so I think, I think, I think Brunson, I think with, Brunson's with footwork, his Carmelo Anthony footwork, was what makes him better than Halliburton. Why you disagree? Because of the size. It's a size disadvantage. Halliburton. Defensible no offensive. But either way, either way, he could. Jalen Brunson can't defend him. Okay. He probably can't defend Jalen Brunson because of what he was saying. But overall, he'll see the floor better because he's a bigger guard. And he's quick as hell. So, you know, it shows. In the overall game, I'm going with him because I know he'll be longer, he'll get longer rebounds, and he'll defend a bigger guard. The reason why the Knicks have the problems on defense they have is because the bigger point guards, they don't match Jalen Brunson up with him. They always put him on a forward. Now look, I know That's you said, but is it, but, but is the smaller or shorter uh, point guard at a disadvantage if the if the point guard is not getting no plays ran for? I mean, what, it's not what, like Halliburton I'm, is I'm, posting him up. No, Halliburton can if he does because what it is is what he'll do is run him off a pick and get a layup. Which I, I see them do that quite a bit. So, so they don't put uh, Brunson on him. They'll put R.J. Barrett on him. They'll put Brunson on the two guard, which would be Matherin or one of the mothers. And it doesn't matter. That's even worse. So who do you think is better, Cade Cunningham or, or Halliburton? That's hard. I like Cade Cunningham. I think Halliburton uh, sees the floor. Uh, can it, brother, you don't see my man is converted into a Pacer fan? I 
I'm not a Pacer fan. I'm no, 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 no. Like you, not only do you look like a yeah, Pacer fan, I look like one you're too. talking like one. Yeah. You're talking like I one. Sure on Real Talk with Nick, yeah. I think this dig a little deeper than Obi yeah. being traded off the New York Knicks. This, he asked me a question. I gave him my, 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 Come my, on, man. my, my answer. answer. And he on, told you on, why he got that on, Nick. Right. So he ain't have to come right. with the matching shirt. Yeah, man. And Come on, see, man. You should see the one I'm going to have for Julius Randle. Oh, I got something for you, Julius. Don't worry. I'm being nice today. Nah, 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 nah. No, you're not. Get... You came here. The only thing yeah, you... This is the beginning of Smelling like Reggie Miller. That's right. Reggie, no. <laughs> you, you, you're doing... <laughs> <laughs> you coming in here. Like, like, like if Spike Lee was here, it gives Spike the That's choke signal. Right. Come on, man. At, at one point in the game, at, at some point in the game... Obi and, and Julius is going to match. Him, yeah, man. Right. That's what I want to see. Now, I want to see that. I'm waiting how is for it. how is Julius going to yeah. defend Obi? Explain that with me. How is Julius going to defend Obi? Oh no, 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 no. Sometimes he's, he's known one he's known not to play no fast. defense. Tell me that. Yeah, and no, and and listen. Remember, he's known to have his hands up and do the pirouette. Well, for one, I call it the revolving. Well, for now, one, he's good for that. Uh, yeah. For one. I feel Julius is stronger than Obi, and I feel that Obi might be quicker. But if they playing un under the, under the pole, I think that's in favor of Rand. I see Obi getting fast breaks, alley hoops, dishing the ball beyond where Julius Randle might be able to post him. That's what I see. I see the running game being in favor of Obi. I mean, Julius has a more. Do you ever see Julius? Game. No. Do you ever see well, Julius Randle guard a, a shooter? Obi I mean, can really. get out and get and get points quick. Like yeah. if if but Julius don't turn his, <laughs> Julius is not gonna. Guard. He's going. Who play saying, better defense? I, with defense, I would go with Randle. One of them play. Listen, no. Listen, one listen hold on. I got this one. Yeah, get him. Listen, nobody in the NBA, all right, <laughs> plays defense like these two men: Patrick Beverly, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yeah. Nobody plays defense like that in the NBA, Nick. So why are we always talking about defense? It's just like saying Carmelo Anthony didn't play no defense, but he scored 28,289 points. Who was guarding Melo? Yeah. Okay, so if that's the case, please explain to Nick, what's all the hype when we speak of that as JH? JH, excuse me. Josh Hart. Man, every time we turn around, everybody's talking about Josh Hart Josh being a def Hart. he played defense. Josh Hart is a hell of a basketball no, man. no, we Josh talking about defense. Listen, listen, listen. When we speak man, of Josh Hart, listen, listen, listen. the first thing that come out of people's mouths, the first thing that come out of people's mouths is Josh Hart on a defensive end. Listen, explain Josh yourself to me, man. Defense, right? Come on, man. Listen, traitor. Stop it, man. I like Josh Hart, man. I like him too, but I think it's an overhype, man. I think the dish plays defense. Okay. So this is what we're talking about. You didn't add him to the list when we was talking about players who play D. I didn't hear anything from Josh Hart. Nothing came out your mouth. Am I right? Because a lot of people were mad because he got the bag yeah, so man, quickly, right? Yeah, so no pun intended. He got the bag so quickly right. where he don't have the he IQ get the to get the bag that quickly. Listen, quickly that's why is everybody is upset. Everybody's upset All because he, he got the bag. Yeah, you, can't you know be what I mean? About that. But really, he defends two, three positions. Paid, man. Quickly, time is coming. And he plays better defense than 48, so he's going to see more floor time than Evan. So... You know, I'm not going to get mad because they gave him some money. I'm mad because they gave him the money before they gave it to IQ. Who's well deserving of it? Exactly. Who put more work in? You, but least Who put more work bad, in? Man. My man didn't even play a full player, season. Like he didn't even play a full season. And y'all throw this man 82 Wait, million? Me, I'm not it's giving it. him 82 million. Right, man, I'm trying to tell you something. Man. I'm not giving him 82 they million. Asked him what did he want? I'm giving him that. If they ask you what you want and you say, I want 100 million, they say, well, listen, man, we can only give you 74. And you say, Because nah. we got to say what those dollars are buying. They're not buying offense. They're buying defense. Exactly. They're buying an occasional open three-pointer being made. So now, this is That's, the best we could do. You right. turned it down. We're going with Dante DiVincenzo, which is even going to put more pressure on your ass. And now, you're going to have to just play under this type of shit. 
Because it's going to be a mess in the guard court, man. It's not enough minutes to go around. Somebody got to be benched. But when you take out Brunson and the water guard grind, uh -huh. you're going to come back with IQ and Dante Dugan Them Nick right? B's tearing your ass up, huh? Right. They're going to they're gonna come back on the floor with Dante and IQ. Okay. I got to see that. See, like with me, I don't know Chippendale's substitution rotation. I got to see it because this motherfucker's retarded. No, it's confusing. Yeah, it's like an Abbey normal brain. It's confusing. Brain. Like young Frankenstein. That motherfucker cut the brain out of a retarded man's head and put it in Thibodeau. <laughs> Motherfucker's a nut. So that's that's our assessment that we think he going to do. We'll wait, right? We'll come no, back. No, we're going to wait. Yeah, we'll we come back wait. and then we'll, we'll we talk wait. more in depth about that. Because I'm not going to even try. I'm sorry to even. I'm not even going to attempt to think about what the hell Thibodeau rotates. I'm not even going to do that. All right. Yeah. Thibodeau calls us sick. Hypothetically speaking. Yeah, he's sick all the time. Okay, <laughs> Rick Brunson can't even show up. We got y'all two, head coach, assistant coach. We'll win. How would you run it if if Jalen Brunson didn't show up? How would you run it? Day job, we gonna run I, the tape I back. I start Emmanuel quickly as a, as a what? As a point guard. Okay. Okay, and I would put Josh Hart as the two guard. Okay, because R.J. Barrett, I'm I'm not going. You know, I'm getting rid of him. Oh, so now, you lost faith in R.J. He's not. He's not gonna play the two there. He's not gonna play the two there. I'm. I'm putting the Knicks back in, on the right course. I'm gonna get me a stretch three, and, and 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 I gotta get a backup four, a real backup four. I can't get this. You, you're not gonna win this if we any of them go down with an injury. Right. Believe me, if any of them go down with an injury predicate, we are screwed. We got a bunch of second year and really rookies that's gonna be doing the thing. So now that's going to be backing them up now. That's According another reason why I'm upset. Right Who is going to be Julius Randle replacement, man? Who's going to be – Obi's gone. Who's going to fulfill in Obi's shoes, man? Roby. Isaiah Roby. Isaiah Roby. Uh, that's all we got. You got rid of Obi and we got Roby. <laughs> that didn't take too much thought, did it? <laughs> good luck with that one. Hey, yo, listen. Indiana looking real good, huh? Indiana had look at, you got Roby and they got Obi. And y'all could have got Miles Turner. I don't get y'all, man. Y'all, 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 y'all uh, making deals like retarded backwards, y'all hustling backwards. If I'm going to trade Obi Dyer Toppin, I want Miles Turner. Same question I asked the trader. I want to know if you had the opportunity to coach the Knicks. No Rick Brunson, no Tom Debido. You the head general, man, overseeing the play. How would you? Illustrate your starting five with the Knicks. Well, my starting five is going to be Brunson, JB, IQ. Brunson, JB, go ahead. IQ, IQ, right? Then I'm going to have Josh Hart, right? Julius, and then I'm going to have Mitch. Okay. Okay. No different thought process. That's a good defensive team. It's, it's, it's going to be hard to score on. Okay. I mean, probably given, given Jalen Brunson, but when they make those adjustments, it's going to be hard to score. Because that way I can flow yeah. back and forth on JB yeah. and, and IQ. Yeah. From the one to the two, because they both can spot up. Yeah. They both can go off the dribble. They both can pass. So, you know, I can work the offense on either side of the floor. You got to excuse Nick. I'm about to faint, man. I feel like I'm up. Fall yeah, out. It's the hat. Dude. It's the hat. It's the hat. It's the, the hat, hat is fucking me up, man. It's fucking up. It's the gold peak. I, I can't. Call puss in boots. <laughs> 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 hey, yo, we done. Nah, we sit down. Nah. <laughs> oh, shit. They walking on real talk with Nick like that. It's over, y'all. Peace.